we are up here at the highest point in Gettysburg, which is crazy. And gonna do a little PSA for other people who love America and uh, the world and the sanctity of national monuments. Don't litter, please. Thank you, bye. <gasps> I broke it. After our time in Catawissa and our adventures at Knobles, we decided to take a detour on our trip and spend a day in Gettysburg. We drove the couple of hours to this historic Pennsylvania town and stayed at the most incredible B&B that's just a couple blocks away from every major attraction. It's called the Gaslight Inn and we highly recommend it. We are in Gettysburg. Yay! You know the Civil War one, the Civil War Gettysburg? Yeah, at the most beautiful B&B called the Gaslight Gas Inn. Inn. So yep, so now we're gonna be walking up here to Baltimore Street and we're gonna be taking some pictures. And we're gonna explore. That's right, that's what people do when they travel, right? They explore. Yay, so come on, let's go. Baltimore Street's right there, the main drag here in since we only had one day to explore Gettysburg, we started right away by walking down Baltimore Street. It was hopping with people and somehow managed to feel modern and historic all at the same time. I guess that's what happens when you're in one of America's most historic cities. They find a way to keep it moving forward, but parts of it will always stay the same. I loved the plaques on the buildings that showed you which ones would have been there during the Civil War. That's crazy to think about, that these buildings have been there since the 1800s. We'd already done some research, so we knew our dinner was gonna be at the Blue and Gray Grill and Bar. A ton of other people had the same idea though, so we added our name to the hour long wait list. Then we checked out the hotel where Lincoln had stayed when he came to give his famous address. Michael and Jennifer, innkeepers at the Gaslight Inn, had told us about a statue in Lincoln Square, right in front of the hotel. So we were excited to see it. It shows Abraham Lincoln talking with a man who appears to be from the 1980s. It's kind of different, but it's actually really cool, and I loved it. After snapping as many pictures as possible, we perused some shops and enjoyed our dinner. After dinner, we wandered into the most adorable Christmas shop. It reminded us of our time in the Black Forest with Viking Cruises. And we spent quite a while checking out every ornament and Christmas figure we could find. We ended up leaving with a few ornaments and two nutcrackers to start my collection. The Queen of England, of course, and this cutie affectionately called Gus. Then we just wandered town. We looked at the historic buildings, the outside of some of the museums, checked out the train station. and then eventually made our way back to the B&B where we had an incredible night's sleep and woke up the next morning to a hearty breakfast. And then we took off for the cemetery and battlefield. 
When I first saw them, chills ran up my arms. It's kind of hard to avoid when you think about what happened here. Since I'm not exactly sure what to say about this incredibly historic place, here are some things you may not have known about Gettysburg. The infamous battle was fought at Gettysburg because of the 10 roads that led into town. That's how the armies got to Gettysburg for the battle. The Battle of Gettysburg went on for three days, with the second day being the largest and costliest of them all. At least 100,000 soldiers were part of the day's battles, and 20,000 were killed, wounded, captured, or missing. The second day alone ranks as the 10th bloodiest battle of the Civil War. There were 120 generals present at the Battles of Gettysburg. Nine were killed or mortally wounded. No other battle during the Civil War killed as many general officers. The Union lost about 23,000 soldiers, while the Confederacy lost 28,000. But during those three days, only one civilian was killed, Jenny Wade. If you visit the cemetery, you'll be able to see these markers that show how many casualties each state suffered. We won't go through all of them, but for the Confederacy, North Carolina suffered the biggest loss, with 6,160. For the Union, it was New York, with 6,695. What really struck me was the amount of unknown soldiers that are buried here. 400 here, 400 there. Tons and tons of graves with unknown soldiers whose families never got closure. When you think about that, it's hard not to be struck by the impact. Our trip to Gettysburg was an accelerated one, to say the least. So we'll definitely be coming back for a more in-depth look. And if you get the chance to visit, definitely do it. We are up here at the highest point in Gettysburg, which is crazy. And can do a little PSA for other people who love America and uh, the world and the sanctity of national monuments. Don't litter, please. Thank you, bye. So if you get the chance, definitely come visit. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all. Hey, squirrely. Seriously, just throw away your trash. Come on. It ain't that hard.